I'm going to just edge Forest 1-0. I had to get it in there that I got my prediction right again. What a win for Nottingham Forest. We said this was probably the biggest game down the bottom of the Premier League in this weekend's set of fixtures. And Nottingham Forest have pulled off a massive 1-0 win against Leeds United. Today we're going to digest it and see what it means for the Premier League relegation battle. And the fact that Nottingham Forest continue to fly away from the relegation battle. It's five unbeaten in the Premier League for them. And their home form is quite something. And they're in the top 10 best performing home teams in the league. Before we get into it, of course, do make sure to hit the like button. We're nearly at 25,000 subscribers, so do feel free to hit the subscribe button as well. It's a massive win for Nottingham Forest. Let's have a look at how they started today. I think Nottingham Forest starting 11 was very interesting today. We saw Navas in goal. We'll come on to him in just a second. Nako Williams, Bolly, McKenna and Lottie in that back line. Danilo, Froela, Mangala and Gibbs White with Johnson and Wood up top. And it's interesting to see that Steve Cooper, despite Forest being really good recently, is chucking in some of the new signings. Let's start with Kaylor Navas then. Honestly, a man of the match like performance. Some people are saying he won Forest that game single-handedly. A little bit unfair on Forrest, but obviously the saves were massive. It probably would have been a slightly different score if Hennessy was in goal, for example. But he was crucial. What a dream debut that is. And it is, once again, the sign of a statement of intent from Nottingham Forest, bringing in a player with such pedigree on the European stage. Like I say, when Henderson got injured, relying on Hennessy was a bit of a doubtful thing for Forrest to do. But as I say, Navas has come in and it's a great start. Can he keep these kind of performances going? Because Steve Cooper's going to have a headache when Henderson comes back. Which keeper do you go with? I don't think you'd take Navas out after that kind of performance. Really good in the first half. Didn't have too much to do in the second half. But good game management. I thought at times when Leeds were getting on top, Navas slowed the game down when he got the ball and, like I say, pulled off some great saves. The back line were pretty good, conceded a few chances, we'll say, but Navas got them out of jail with a few big saves. I thought they were all right. The midfielders have all come away from this with really good ratings as well. Mangala and Danilo, but Froyla with the man of the match performance in the middle there with a 7.5 rating. Gibbs White played quite well as well. Brennan Johnson got the goal. And let's talk about that goal as well. In this first half, Leeds United were playing some good stuff. In the first 15 minutes, they could have been 1-0 up, maybe 2-0 up. They were causing Forrest a few problems. So to go and get that goal like they did against the run of play was massive. And it's a sign of teams that are going to stay up, winning games when maybe they're not even at their best. The strike itself is pure class. The cross into the box isn't bad. It causes a bit of a panic. It's cleared away just on the edge of the box. He connects it beautifully and it goes into the bottom corner. And like I say, from there, no more goals. There was a bit of action in the first half where Leeds did try and get back into it. But I thought Forrest's game management in the second half was quite good. Cooper set them out with a job. Um, like I say, some players like Chris Wood, who was also up top today, he didn't have the best debut. But when Forrest win, you're not really going to pick at the negatives too much. And I thought he did he did a job. He came out with a 6.5 rating. So maybe better things are to come from him. A quick word on Leeds United. I thought they were actually really good in this game. They played some really decent stuff, but it didn't happen for them. Like I say, Forrest took one chance when they didn't have too many. Leeds didn't take any of the chances when they did have quite a few, especially in the first half. But that's something Leeds will obviously have to work on. Their style of play is quite good. But what Nottingham Forest are doing at the moment is fantastic. We've got to say the results are coming in and that home form, as I said, they're now the 10th best home team in the Premier League. The 10th best. You know, you think this is the top league in England. Nottingham Forest are a new side to this division. They're really starting to pull away. We did speak about some of the results on the Saturday being really damning for both Forest and Leeds coming into this game, seeing Everton win, West Ham get a draw at Newcastle, Leicester's win. And the pressure was piled on. As far as I'm concerned in this Premier League picture, Southampton and Bournemouth are strong favourites to go down. It's not a certainty, but they are strong favourites. That third spot could literally go to anyone. And Forest have made a statement with this win today that they're not going to be that team. They've pushed themselves back to 13th and not a million miles away from the top half, we must say. What I've taken away from watching this game today is that Nottingham Forest can win games ugly. As we've said this season, they can win games when they're playing really good stuff as well. But... I don't think they were at their fluid best today, and they probably did rely on the keeper with some big saves, we've got to say that, but they won the game, they defended, they got the goal, and like I say, they kept the clean sheet, it's fantastic for them, they've picked up quite a few good results at home recently, and once again you can say Steve Cooper had an impact on that, his half-time team talk seemed to work, Forrest calmed things down in the second half, the fans always influential at the city ground, can they just improve on the road? We're going to look forward here for Forrest now. It is an away game next to another newly promoted side in Fulham. I think this is going to be fascinating. I have said on record that I do fancy Forrest a little bit more at home than on the road. But it's not 
impossible they could go to Craven Cottage and get something. Yes, Fulham have been brilliant, but the way Forest are going, they've got confidence now. And like we say, we've, they've won their first Premier League away game at Southampton. Can they keep the points being churned in at home and maybe on the road as well? So obviously Fulham away. We look forward to the next game after that, which is Manchester City at home. Obviously a home game where I do tend to fancy Forest more, but Man City... That's always a bit of a write-off kind of game, a bit of a free hit, but who knows. And then it's West Ham away. So you look at these three games, they're actually pretty tricky. Fulham and West Ham away, pretty tricky, although West Ham is a six-pointer. It's not impossible for us to get something. And the one home game coming up in February is Man City, so it's a very tricky one there. And a quick little dive looking into March sees Nottingham Forest host Everton, which will be an absolutely massive game. Spurs away, and then Newcastle at home. So these are six games that are absolutely massive, and I'm not saying Forest are not going to pick up any points from them. They're bound to pick up some points somewhere along this line, but it's really important they've got themselves into this position now on 24 points, which is a really solid base. There's not pressure in every game. They don't have to always beat the top six teams. I've been saying for quite a while now that I think Nottingham Forest are staying up. I think at the start it was mainly just Nottingham Forest fans that were saying that and lots of people are starting to join that argument. Forest are really improving. You look at the results, they're really trending away from that bottom three. If you look at the maths, they've played 21, so 17 games to go. They're on 24 points. I've said that 37 will be enough this season. 36 could be. 35 might be, depending on how the teams at the bottom tend to perform. I think 35 will probably just be enough, but I think Forest will get above that. So we're talking another four wins and Forest are safe. In 17 games, the way Forest are going, they're going to do that. So then, Nottingham Forest fans, share your thoughts down below. Get your Comments in. Let me know what you're thinking after today's result. If you're not a Nottingham Forest fan, do let me know as well what you think of this game and Nottingham Forest chances of staying up now. Like I say, people were attacking me that weren't Nottingham Forest fans when I did back them to stay up originally. And like I say, it's starting to come to fruition. So do you think it's just about survival? Do Forest just need to get over the line? Because the Premier League can be very unforgiving. It could be that Forest might not win in the next couple of games and get sucked back into it. Or a Forest fan starting to look up the table and think, how high can we actually finish this season. I suppose you've got to keep chipping away at it, get to 30 points, 35 and then at that point you could start looking up and saying, right, this is realistically where we can get to because it's the first season, it's usually about consolidating and then kicking on the following season. So like I say, get your thoughts down below, do share your opinions if you're a Forest fan or not on what you've seen today. Do make sure of course to hit that like button if you haven't already and we're this close to 25,000 subscribers so do hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already. Really massive thanks Thank you for your great support so far. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.